Misty's worn a collar for the last five months or so. And if you notice, it does leave a mark where the collar sits. Um, it'll rub on the feathers and I go back and I'll trim the feathers down so that they don't break and cause him a lot of pain. Um, but I usually check him about once a week to make sure that he doesn't have any permanent damage other than the little bald spots. So once you get, you always want to do it with the soft side down and the scratchy side out. Make sure, I don't know, that's probably about five, six inches. Um, because you're going to want to be able to, to roll it around on itself so that he doesn't get out of it. So you just lift up his feathers and place it around. But when you place it, you also don't want to place it high. You want to place it lower or down towards the bottom of his throat. And so what we're going to do is just go back and put it in his original feather pattern because that's where he's used to it and that's the most effective that I've noticed for him. You're probably going to readjust it a few times as you first start doing it so that way you can get the maximum amount of sound reduction from the roosters. So when you go in, the first time you do it after they pull the feathers out, you're going to want to make it so that you can fit um, one full finger in. So you can put one full finger in. Give them a couple of hours so that they get used to it at this point. They're going to buck. They're going to walk backwards. They're going to knock into things. Um, but as long as you can put one full finger in, then they won't strangle themselves. Now, once they move all of their feathers out of the way, because they're going to go back and, and try and take it off, and while they do that, they're going to end up pulling their feathers so that it's straight against their neck. Then you're going to go back and readjust it so that you can fit just the tip of your pinky in the top and the bottom, but not all the way through. Make sure that you have a decent overlap of the material um, so that they don't have the ability to tug it off. And then once you get it on, he really hates being handled most of the time. Once you get it on, you're going to stretch his neck out and then make sure you bring it down just a little bit more in the front. Hi, sweetheart. And then just kind of ruffle his feathers a little bit. Give him a little bit of a belly rub. The longer you can hold them with the collar on the first time, the less they will notice it. And the less they notice it, the less drama they will have. So. Misty's used to wearing his collar, but again, make sure it's at the bottom of the neck and not up towards the top, because if you go towards the top, then you're going to mess with their ability to swallow and eat food. Um, really, all you want to do is reduce the air that comes out of their their crop. Okay, Misty, you're free. Fly like the wind. That's it. <laughs>